Austin Meg to face another public rejection with a pathetic result in pull to keep them at bay. In 2020, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, opted out of royal life, taking their family and moving to Meghan's native California to pursue their own path. In a bumper set of polls run from 4 p.m. on Sunday, February 13 to 9 a.m. on Thursday, February 17, Express.co.uk asked its readers, would you support Meghan and Harry if they rejoined as working royals under King Charles? A staggering 52,358 votes were cast, with the results an overwhelming no, 48,897, or 93%. Just 2,631, or 5%, said yes, and another 830, or 2%, said they didn't know. The comments left below the poll were scathing. Username Tolstoy wrote, Why on earth would you let such poison back into the family? Keep them in the States. And username Dex13 wrote, Harry, is a person that had the world on a plate for years. Then all of a sudden he doesn't want anything to do with any of them. So my answer is no. Others thought Meghan and Harry should avoid putting themselves in competition with Prince William and Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Usernames Bumblebee said, There will always be this one-upmanship on Harry and Meghan's part. Express.co.uk also asked, Will you read Prince Harry's memoir when it's released? Harry's book, due to be published in late 2022 will shake the monarchy to its core, according to sources close to the Duke. Express.co.uk readers were equally fierce on this topic, with 52,085 votes cast. A total of 47,579 said no, with just 2,363 voting yes and 2,143 saying they didn't know if they'd read it. Generally, readers said they didn't expect much from the book particularly after Meghan and Harry's explosive interview with Oprah last year in which they leveled some harsh criticisms at the royal family, which are still being internally investigated. Username The Duke of Chutney wrote, This book is going to be more of what we saw with Oprah. And Yeppers for Peppers wrote, Shake the monarchy to the core, eh? Doesn't sound like he would want to visit, be included or have any contact whatsoever with his family then. It wasn't all negative, though, Express.co.uk also asked its readers to pick their favorite royal and the winner will come as no surprise. A total of 51,954 people voted in total, with a whopping 24,100, 46%, people choosing the Queen as their favorite. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge was in second with 12,593 votes, 24%, followed by her husband William with 6,396 votes, 12%. Princess Anne was in fourth with 3,564 votes, followed by Prince Charles with 1,034, Sophie Countess of Wessex with 955, and then Prince Harry with 946. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall was less popular than Harry with 729 votes. Meghan Markle raked in just 229 votes, above only Prince Edward, bringing up the rear with 166 votes. Experts recently analyzed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's US-based traction in a recent appearance. This claim has been made by royal expert Russell Myers and during his appearance on the Pod Save the Queen podcast he analyzed some of the ongoing U.S. traction. He was also quoted saying, I was really interested in what traction this got in the States and the only thing I've seen that was banding around Twitter was the New York Post taking a swipe at them for rolling up in town in a load of gas-guzzling vehicles, big old security detail. I don't think it did get a lot of traction in the United States. I'm not too sure, obviously, there is an audience for them and we are covering it. I don't know necessarily whether they are as adored in the United States as we were first thinking. Before concluding he added, certainly, they do have potentially a lot more supporters in the States than here. For those unversed, the couple is currently suffering through a major popularity decline from the UK. They currently stand at an approval rating of 32% and are ranked as the 13% and 14% most popular royal family members according to YouGov polls.